Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. Now our goal is to solve for the value of x minus 2 times square root of x. Given that x squared minus 16 times square root of x equals 12. And if you want to try this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now let's answer this question together. In order to find the value of x minus 2 times square root of x, we will use some simple tricks. So let's have our given equation. We have x squared minus 16 times square root of x equals 12. Now add 16 times square root of x on both sides and we get x squared equals 16 times square root of x plus 12. Now the trick here is if we add 4x plus 4 on both sides, the left side and the right hand side are both factorable. This is not obvious on the right hand side but both sides of this equation is factorable. To show that, let's simplify the right hand side a little bit. So this is equivalent to 4x plus 16 times square root of x plus 16. Now take note that if we have a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared, this is equivalent to a plus b quantity squared. Notice on the left side, 4 can be written as 2 squared, and 4x can be written as 2 times x times 2. Therefore, x squared plus 2 times x times 2 plus 2 squared can be factored as x plus 2 quantity squared. Now, how about on the right side? 4x can be written as 2 square root of x quantity squared and 16 can be written as 4 squared and 16 times square root of x can be written as 2 times 2 times square root of x times 4. Now, it is in the form of a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared. It directly follows that it can be factored as 2 times square root of x plus 4 quantity squared. Now, don't forget our goal. Our goal is to find the value of x minus 2 times square root of x. Now, to achieve that, let's equate this into 0. Now, at this point, we are now in the form of a squared minus b squared, and it can be factored as a plus b times a minus b. In our given, a represents x plus 2, and b represents 2 times square root of x plus 4. Therefore, the left-hand side of this equation can be factored as x plus 2 plus 2 times square root of x plus 4 times x plus 2 minus 2 times square root of x minus 4. Now simplify both factors a little bit. Let's combine like terms. On the first factor, we can combine 2 and 4. And on the second factor, we can combine positive 2 and negative 4. If we do that, we get x plus 2 times square root of x plus 6 multiply by x minus 2 times square root of x minus 2 and it is equal to 0 and since it is equal to 0 it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0 therefore we can say that x plus 2 times square root of x plus 6 equals to 0 or x minus 2 times square root of x minus 2 equals 0 now take note that our goal here is to solve for the value of x minus 2 times square root of x. And there you go, we have x minus 2 times square root of x in our second equation. And also take note that we can also find the value of x plus 2 times square root of x. But at this point, our goal is to solve for the value of x minus 2 times square root of x. So we will use the second equation. Now, to solve for the value of x minus 2 times square root of x, we need to add 2 on both sides. Thus, x minus 2 times square root of x must be 2. Therefore, if we have an equation x squared minus 16 times square root of x equals 12, x minus 2 times square root of x must be 2. And, as always, we're done.